Hello, my name is Daniel Yip. Thank you for watching today. I appreciate you, your time, and your support. In today's video, I want to share with you how we can go about tracing within Procreate. By the end of this video, you'll know how to go about tracing within Procreate as well as a little bit of extras to help you along the way. Should you have any questions at all, I encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring my bell as I will be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as my YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok all under Daniel Yuck. I would appreciate the support over there as well. With that being said, let's get right on into this. When it comes to tracing lines or tracing anything within Procreate, there are a number of ways that we can go about doing this. So I'm gonna share with you the best ways that I found for me. This is going to be an 11.5 by an eight canvas. So 11.5 in height, eight in width here. This is the same size that I use for my tattoo stencils as this is the same size as a spirit tattoo stencil paper. However, we can use any canvas size that better suits our artistic wants and needs. When it comes to tracing we want to start with some sort of reference material now you can see that I have a small assortment of various types here I have an image that I took from my phone I have a rose that I also took here with my phone here I have a more realistic design and then here I have a Pokemon design now when it comes to lining within procreate it starts with somewhere with the idea with the concept so that way we have a foundation to build off of and work from i want to use a color that really stands out and i want to use a brush that i am comfortable with for this i'm actually going to use my daniel yuck pin here so I, I can outline this design so i have the original design and then i have a new layer and i'm going to be working on the new layer here and the process is pretty straightforward all i'm going to want to do is make sure that i identify point a and b and then create those lines to the best of my ability. And I'm going to do this all the way around with the design here until I've completed it. And then from there, I can simply send it to a printer to print it out and tattoo it. If I make a mistake, I can hit back there and then redo it. So that way I can get it to my liking. But that right there is one way that we can go about tracing within Procreate. That design was more of an anime design. You can see this one is more of a realistic design here. And I'm gonna have the same approach. I'm basically going to create another layer on top of the design that I'm going to be tracing. Highlight both of them. To highlight, you simply select your layer and then you can right slide and then you hit group. And then now I have this group right here. I'm gonna select my empty layer and I'm gonna make sure that my line weight matches the design. And then from here, I can begin mapping out the design as you see me doing here. This right here is another way that we can go about tracing within Procreate. Let's go ahead and repeat this here. So I'm gonna turn this group off here. And then I'm going to navigate to this floral design or this floral image that I took. And you can see it is on the realistic end. Same approach, we're gonna add a layer. I'm gonna highlight these two and group them together. Go back to the top layer so that way I could apply these lines here. Now, let's say if you can't really work with the color, if you wanted it to be black and white, there is a way that we can go about turning this into a black and white uh, saturation. And for that, we're gonna select the layer that we want to turn into black and white there. We're gonna hit this adjustments tool, and then we're gonna go to hue, uh, hue saturation, and brightness, and we're gonna take the saturation down all the way to zero. As you can see, it's now black and white. Now we can take it a step further. Let's go ahead and duplicate this layer. I'm gonna duplicate it one more time. And then on this third layer that we duplicated, I'm gonna switch from this little end right here. We're gonna change it from normal to color dodge. And then from there, I'm gonna select in this open area. I'm gonna select invert. And you can see the design is all white. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the adjustments tool, Gaussian blur. And then I'm going to add a little bit, about 9% there. And then I'm gonna group those two layers together. And that's what we have. From here, I can make these areas right here, these tones a little bit darker. I'm gonna go back to the adjustments, but this time I'm gonna go to curves. I'm gonna get this point, and I'm gonna bring it this way. And you can see as I bring it, it gets a darker in color, or darker in saturation rather. 
And then from here, I can go back to the top layer and start mapping out this design. So I can do it this way, or I can send this directly to the printer for a realistic type of design, or I can shut this off and I can layer, I'm sorry, line this right here, trace this design right here. That process is pretty straightforward. Just make sure that we have an appropriate line weight. And then wherever you begin to see those lines, just simply begin to apply them like so. until the design is completed. So that is for this floral type of design going on here. I'm gonna mute that layer. I'm gonna go to this realistic type of design that I have right here. I'm going to repeat almost a similar process that we just did with the rows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to take that down by going, I'm taking the color down. We're gonna turn it to a black and white by going to adjustments, selecting hue, saturation, and brightness taking the saturation all the way down and you can see color is now removed and this is a black and white image. From here I can mess with the brightness should I choose to do so to each their own, but a little bit brighter so that we can get more details out of this design. And then from here, I'm going to duplicate this layer, same thing, select the end, navigate over to color dodge, and you can see the designs changing already. We're gonna select this open area, we're gonna hit invert, Come back up to the Gaussian Blur within the Adjustments uh, tool right here. And then we're just gonna apply a little bit, maybe around 5%, as you can see there. We're gonna duplicate, I'm sorry, we're gonna merge those two layers. I'm gonna group these two together. I can go ahead and add an empty layer. That's gonna be the layer that we're gonna trace on. I'm gonna navigate back to this design right here. I want it to be a little bit more dark. So in order to get it darker, I can select the layer, go to the adjustments, and then go to curves. Same thing like the design, the floral design. We're just gonna to wanna to bring this down like so. Until we find the appropriate saturation. I feel like that's great right there. Now I have one of two choices. I can either send this directly to a printer or I can map this out the way that I see fit by hand. Going to this layer, zooming in, and then I could begin to trace this design. It really does depend on the artistic approach that we want. It really is artist preference, but that is another way that we can go about tracing within Procreate. That'll be it for this one. I do hope that you can take something from this video and immediately apply it on your end. Should you have any questions at all, I encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. That'll be it for this one. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring my bell as I will be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as my YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok all under Daniel Yuck. I would appreciate the support over there as well. With that being said, I appreciate your time and I thank you for your support. Have a great day.